Would you like to live your best life possible, regardless of your imperfections? Discover cutting-edge tools and inspiration to let go of your limitations and expand your life beyond what you've ever imagined. On Imperfect Brilliance, we help you tap into your unique gifts and talents, uncovering and letting your brilliance shine. Join certified facilitators and coaches Betsy McLaughlin and Kathy Williams to delve into different areas of your life, get unstuck, and create the life that is truly possible for you. These joyful ladies have changed their lives by utilizing the tools and techniques they share with you. What if your willingness to acknowledge your brilliance is the catalyst to creating a new reality? When you stop judging you, what else can you create in your life and in the world? Join Kathy and Betsy live every Tuesday at 6 p.m. Eastern to create magical and joyous possibilities for an hour of laughs, questions, tips, and more. We are excited to contribute and play with you. Hi, everyone. Welcome. (laughs) Welcome to the Hi, welcome. (laughs) (laughs) It's Kathy and Betsy. And this is Kathy, and we're so glad you're here listening to us, Kathy Williams and Betsy McLaughlin. And we have been doing the show for, gosh, Kathy, how long? Like, I'm really bad with time, Betsy. Like, my life is before (laughs) children and after children. So it was after children. (laughs) It's been, what, three years? More than that? I think so. For you? Yeah, something like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's been so much fun and just love doing it and, and hearing from everyone and, you know, the, the feedback we get. And it's really fun because, you know, when you're on the radio, you're not in front of people in, you know, like talking. So you never know who's listening or when they'll listen. And we're grateful for, for that. And, um, would you like to tell everybody a little bit about us before we dive into today's subject? Absolutely. So, as you know, we have been doing the show for several <laughs> years now, and we really met because we're Access Consciousness facilitators. So, Betsy and I met at the facilitator training and mm-hmm. found that we had a lot to talk about. So, um, not only are we facilitators who teach around the world, both in person and over the internet, which makes it really easy. (laughs) Um, We are also authors. We co-authored several books together, including the book that kind of came and spoke to me and said, hey, create me, called Relationships Done Mm -hmm. Easy, which you can find on Amazon. And we also facilitate people one-on-one. So whether you're across the globe from us, I live on the island of Maui, and Betsy lives in Maryland, the east coast of the United States, or whether you live near us, we can facilitate over the phone or Skype or or, uh, wherever it's required. And The other thing is you are welcome to call into the show. The number is on the OM Times website, and we are live uh, each Tuesday. And then we are also available, you know, um, on SoundCloud and all over uh, iHeartRadio between weeks. So if you don't catch us on Tuesdays, we have dozens and dozens of archives from the last three years uh, mm-hmm. all over the internet. So just type in Imperfect Brilliance and you'll find us somewhere, <laughs> um, including our own <laughs> website, which is imperfectbrilliance.com. Now, Betsy also has a, a website, as do I. So you can reach us individually uh, through those. Hers is creating yumminess dot com, which happens to also be the topic of today's show. And <laughs> mine is um, meetcathywilliams.com. So um, Kathy with a K and Williams with an S. And there you'll find our schedule of classes and, and various products, some of which are free and all sorts of yumminess <laughs> at those sites. And you'll also find other ways to get in touch with us if you'd like to. 
So I'm excited for today's topic, Beth. <laughs> creating yeah, a yummy too. mess. Yeah. Yes. You know, and in creating a yummy life, um, you know, that's the as Kathy mentioned, that's the name of my website. And when I created that, I don't even know how many years ago. You know, I was looking at, do I put my name for my website? What do I do? And um, I have heard many times over the years that I am yummy and that I create yummy stuff, whether it's <laughs> people being, <laughs> and it's really funny, right? But it's, it's like, gosh, you're so yummy. Like I get, apparently I give very yummy hugs and um, I love to nurture people and have when they come to my home. All my furniture is comfortable. I really just, that's my goal. Like, let's have everybody be comfortable. Uh, You know, take, if you like taking off your shoes, take them off. Like, you want to leave them on, leave them on, whatever. But it's, it's all about, you know, how can we be yummy and comfortable and create more of that for our lives? So that's where the website started. And then it, it kept asking for more and more and more. And as we've talked about on different shows, you know, like having conversations and being very aware of the creations that would like to um, have you nurture them. Like Kathy said, this book spoke to her, like, and and it, I know because I was involved with it, it was not going to leave her alone until it was created. <laughs> and, <laughs> right? <laughs> Which was a, a good thing. Yes. Yeah. Oh, it's an amazing book. There's some wonderful, wonderful chapters and stories in there. And if you guys haven't read it, I highly recommend uh, getting the book. It's um, Relationships Done Easy by Kathy Williams and Friends. And what a fun, fun project. So as, you know, as creations are asking to be born and, and come into the world, it's like, really, that's the name that, and it was kind of like, yeah, that's what, there was really not my name, not my like Betsy McLaughlin dot com. Nope. Okay. All right. So that's how it started. And I actually have a specialty course now that I have created through Access Consciousness. Like Kathy has a specialty course as well. And we can talk about that in a little bit. Um, and it's, you know, and I know for her too, it's following the energy and following the questions and what is that? What does it look like? What does it desire to be? And playing with it and seeing what happens. So creating yumminess, Kathy texted me a couple of weeks ago and said, hey, we should do a show on creating yumminess. I'm like, oh, okay, that'd be great. I love it. Um, and so what does that look like for you guys? Uh, what would you like to create your life? How could it be yummier? And I'm not saying your life isn't yummy now. It could be the most <laughs> delicious thing ever. <laughs> and how would you like it to be even yummier? Um, is I, I know like a, for a lot of people, do you even allow yourself to ask those questions? And can you have more ease in every part of your life, your relationships, work, home life, your home environment, your money, your bank account, whatever that is for you. For me, the more ease I have, the yummier my life is. So, Indeed. Right. So I have no idea where this conversation is going to go today, Kathy, but I'm excited about talking about it. Um, and then the other piece I'll say is I have, I have make this um, concoction uh, that is, that a lot of people really, when they see me now, they start to, so in classes, because we go to classes all around the world, and people see me, and they're like, did you bring that, you know, did you bring that candy with you? And it's like uh, chocolate and caramelly. It could have peanut butter in it if you want, um, and it's also got salt. So it's like sweet and salt, crunchy and chocolate. So it's kind of got a lot of things and um, people really, really like it. So I, that's the other part of like creating yummy that people have started to associate me with. <laughs> so that's how kind of the name started and it stuck and it's like, all right, well, what is it telling me and what is it asking for? So thank you for letting me talk a little bit about it. I appreciate that. 
Absolutely. Well, yeah, and that brings in the idea that yummy isn't just for food. Yummy is for hugs mm -hmm. and, and comforts and all sorts of things. So, oh, gosh, what questions can we ask here? <laughs> Yeah. Um, and and in fact, I've never tried your candy. I've never oh seen it anywhere. I know. You're going <laughs> to have to mail me some. <laughs> <laughs> I can do that. I can mm. do that. And it's so funny. Yeah, the um where and that that all started like I mentioned it in a class one time. And I just mentioned that people really like it. And then I kind of got challenged like, "Well, why aren't you selling it?" It's like well, because I don't think anybody would want to pay me money for it. And so that's, that's kind of how that part got launched. And people were like, well, why don't we try it? So then people started trying it. And I got orders like right then and there, I'll buy it. And so I had decided that it wasn't a valuable product, right, that nobody was going to be willing to pay me money for it. So I wonder how many people listening might be doing things in their life, whether, you know, let, whether it's baking something or creating um, scarves or whatever it is that you might be making that you think or doing, it doesn't have to be something that you, you know, a physical product, but I wonder how many people listening, Kathy, don't think that anybody would pay them for what they do. You know what? I get that all the time. <laughs> uh -huh. like if something is so much ease for people, we often disregard it. We often think, oh, nah, anyone can do that. You know, energy work mm -hmm. is so easy for me. And I used to for the longest time because I started um, practicing energy work in um, the year 2000. Like I used to just do it on a weekly basis for free for people. And I have a friend who's pretty darn amazing, too, and he still, he was there with me at the time, and he still doesn't charge for it. And, you know, it's like oftentimes we disregard what is so easy for us. I mean, we, cure, we changed people's phobias. We got rid of phobias, and we did it for free. <laughs> mm -hmm. And it's like we didn't recognize that, hey, not everyone can do this, especially not in one session and look at you. You know, it's like this is actually valuable to people. So, yeah, you know, that is something to look at. What do you do that's valuable to people that you're totally disregarding, that you're undervaluing, mm -hmm. that people would gladly pay money for mm -hmm. if you would allow yes. them to? Yes, absolutely. And I really had to get over all my points of view about, well, you know, I can't make any money with it. Nobody's going to want to pay me money. How, you know, it might be too expensive. And I really had to, you know, do a lot of processing because I was really stubborn on this. Where I, and, and what we share week in and week out are questions. And our um, the clearing statement, and I did all of these things. I had other people facilitate me to get to the point where I was like, oh, okay, so now I don't have a point of view of whether people buy it or don't buy it, like it or don't like it. And it's, I tell you, Kathy, it's so freeing to have gotten myself out of that little box of like, well, nobody would want to pay me money to now like the last class that I was in, live class, where people were coming up to me and paying me more money than I was even asking for. And it's like, and I, I wanted to gift the one of the teachers some. And he said, no, 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 I'm going to pay you because I usually have gifted him. He's like, no, this time I really would like to pay you. So instead of refusing that, I said, oh, would that be okay, great. And he just handed me way more money, like double what I charge for it. And I was like, oh, that's interesting. And I was and very grateful and I was totally willing to receive it. And I think, wow, I've really come a long way from where I thought nobody's going to give me any money and I couldn't receive the money to now I'm willing to receive it. <laughs> well, and I love that you bring in this piece about receiving. 
Yeah. Right? Because because mm. yumminess is only available in any area of our life if we are willing to receive it. Yep. You know, I mean, like, let's take a look at a relationship in which maybe one person comes in and then the other, you know, they're they're together. And one of them thinks, oh, my gosh, this is too good to be true. Like, what are they going to do? By thinking something like that, you can kill a relationship, <laughs> right? Mm-hmm. Like, oh, my gosh, this is more amazing than I would ever have imagined. And then starting to sabotage it. Mm-hmm. And um, there is a thing called the upper limit. What's it called? A syndrome or upper limit problem or something like that where it is. Mm. Like life is so going so beautifully that we step in and do something really <laughs> sabotaging to, to <laughs> co- bring it down to a level that we're more comfortable with. <sighs> I've never done that ever, ever. <laughs> <laughs> right? Like you and create my an nose. argument or something? Or, <laughs> yeah. My nose is in, in fact, Pinocchio on that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, let's pick this up after the break. <laughs> I love this where we're having so much fun today creating some yumminess in our lives. You're listening to Imperfect Green. We'll be back in just a couple of minutes. Thanks for listening. Thanks, everybody. Free your mind with Own Times Radio, IOM FM. Own Times Magazine is one of the leading online content providers of positivity, wellness and personal empowerment. A philanthropic organization, their net proceeds are funneled to support worldwide charity initiatives via Humanity Healing International. Through their commitment to creating community and providing conscious content, they aspire to uplift humanity on a global scale. Connect at ohmtimes.com. Ohm Times, creating a more conscious lifestyle. Hello, I'm Sandy Sedgbeer, host of Om Times Magazine's flagship radio show, What Is Going On? My passion is sifting through information, research, and innovations from new thought teachers, speakers, and researchers, pushing back the boundaries of what we know about life, energy, metaphysics, and the universe. I love shifting perceptions about who we are, why we're here, and how quickly impossible becomes normal when we open our minds, expand our awareness, and accept that the only limits that exist are those we place upon ourselves. So if you're the kind of forward-thinking, eager investigator of what lies beyond the current reality that most perceive, why not make a date to come play with me in the field of possibilities at 4 p.m. Pacific Time, 7 p.m. Eastern Time every Thursday, and together we can discover what's really going on. Hi, this is New Age Grammy winner Paul Avgerinos. Thanks for listening to Ohm Times Radio, and please support my peaceful healing music with a purchase at iTunes, Amazon, or wherever you shop for fine music. Just put my name into the search engine. Paul Avgerinos. A, V like Victor, G like George, E, R, I, N, O, S. You can also visit me at roundskymusic.com. Thanks for listening, and I'm wishing you the brightest of blessings. Dad, this is fun. I didn't think I liked kayaking. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed it, but I think it's time to head back in. Okay. Can we come back? Sure. Hey, be careful getting out of the boat. It's a kayak, Dad. <laughs> I'm going to return the kayak. Can we walk home? How about a taxi? It's a short fare from your neighborhood to your naturehood. Visit discovertheforest.org to find a neighborhood park or green space near you. Brought to you by the Ad Council and the U.S. Forest Service. Welcome back to Imperfect Brilliance, everybody. This is Kathy Williams here with my co-host, Betsy McLaughlin. And we are talking today about creating a yummy life. 
And before we hop back in, I would just love to invite you to something I have coming up, um, something really dear to my heart because it is so yummy for me to see what people change. And that is a little four part video series called um, Change Your Energy, Change Your Abundance. And you can um, go to my website, meetcathywilliams.com forward slash upcoming. And um, if you don't see it listed as that there, um, just click on the Radical Abundance free challenge and we'll get you all those videos. It's, it's Radical Abundance is dear to my heart just because of what people change, both in the two month class and the shorter uh, um, video series. So um, if you feel inspired to join us for the two months too, yeah, hop in, there's a special price right now. So um, please do ask me any questions you have about that there at meetcathywilliams.com under abundance. Um, so Betsy, creating yumminess, we talked a little bit about how you like to do that uh, in your home and with hugs and uh, with food. And um, I would love to know, like if someone feels so disconnected from what is yummy for me. I don't even know at this point. Uh, what might you suggest? Mm, great question. And I wonder, you know, laughing to me is also yummy. And could you sit down and actually write things down that have you smile Um you know, maybe turn your frown upside down, right? <laughs> is it a conversation with a friend? Is it a wonderful cup of tea or coffee if you love that? Like it can be such a small, small thing that, and that's one of the things that I've really started doing is in noticing everything. I have uh, a bay window in my kitchen and it gets a lot of sun. And I have come to discover that orchids absolutely love that spot. So I have some orchids there and they keep blooming. I thought, and I thought that orchids, once they bloom, I mean, I know in the, in the natural habitat, it's a different story, but when it's in your house, what I've read is it blooms and then you're supposed to put it in a closet and let it go through a, a dormant cycle and all this stuff. And mine keep blooming. Um, and so it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. And I, I pause and I look, especially when the sun is streaming in, there's something so beautiful about seeing the sun and the flowers going to the sun. It's just, it's, and it's, so for me, that's a delicious energy, a yummy, yummy energy. So what, what do you enjoy? It could be petting a kitty cat or, watching a child play, taking a walk, what what is it that gives you a sense of kind of like, ah, oh. so what questions can you ask? Like, what could you write down about what brings me some joy? What makes me smile? And what, you know, what else? What else for you, Kathy? Well, in my life, I have these things I call pivot words. And they just help me to tap more into the energies that I desire in my life. One of them is delight. One of them is presence. One of them is bliss. And so when I'm, let's say I'm driving and I'm not in a space of any of those, I'm in the space of, you know, annoyance or, or oh, in a hurry and feeling rushed, then I can say, oh, what would it take for me to tap into delight right now or to tap into presence? And then, you know, just by asking that, I can tap into that quality. Maybe it's by shifting my perspective to the way the light strikes the grasses that are on mm -hmm. the side of the road. Or for me, you know, I live on an island, so I can see the mountain at almost any time and looking up at that gorgeous mountain, you know, I mean, receiving that and being present with it makes such 
a difference. So, you know, so often when we're going after something, whether that's a a lover or a new house or a career change or whatever, we're choosing it because of the quality we think it will bring us. When we and then in so doing, we often overlook the fact that that quality is available right here, right now without having to achieve that thing. Now that doesn't say don't go after that thing, right? If you want a color update on in your living room, right? If you want it painted or new throw pillows or something like that, by all means, that's awesome. You can do it. But the thing is our outer state doesn't, I mean, our state of being doesn't depend on that thing changing in order for us to have that particular energy we're looking for, if that makes sense. Yeah, absolutely. So finding those pivot words really for me has been so magical in allowing me to tap into, oh, this is not my preferred space of being. What do I prefer? And really accessing that. Definitely. And that's that's one of the most amazing things that I have learned is just because you've chosen it doesn't mean that you can't choose something different. <laughs> and it's not a permanent, permanent thing. So if I was choosing to be cranky, uh, and I was talking to somebody a little bit earlier today, and she said she felt cranky for two days. And she's like, I know, I know, I can choose to change it, and I'm not choosing right now. And I was like, that's great. And even celebrating that you're choosing to not change something, you know, she's like, I'll probably choose it tomorrow or maybe later today. (laughs) And so and in that, she's realizing, right, she might not be creating the easiest thing for her, but that's what she's choosing to do. So if we remember, too, that we have choice and we can change and doing some of the things that we've already talked about to change if you're cranky, what could you do to change that if you'd like to? And again, there's no right. There's no wrong. These are all just things that we all do right in our lives. We can stop to admire the the way the light hits the grass or, you know, your flowers reaching for the sun or you can choose to ignore all of that. And what what works for you? So if you're looking to create more ease, more joy, <laughs> more yummy, more delicious. For me, I know part of that, Kathy, is slowing down <laughs> and remembering yeah. to take a deep breath and remembering to look at everything around me instead of having the blinders on and I got to get from spot A to spot B and I don't have time for any of this. Well, what if it's the same amount of time for me to get from spot A to stop spot B, but I have expanded everything around me so that I'm aware of all the beauty that surrounds us. Does that make sense? Yeah, it's simply a shift in perspective. Mm-hmm. You know? And that shift changes everything. That's why I love these pivot words. You know, it's like I'm in this in an unpreferred space of being. Well, let me pivot. What would I rather feel? Well, how would mm-hmm. I rather be? And tap into that. Pretty mm-hmm. amazing. Yeah. And you know what? In terms of yumminess, you you mentioned food and hugs and and uh you know the having people take their shoes off or not and you know we have five senses so i wonder you know if we could just mm-hmm. explore well on the uh, on the sense of smell what mm-hmm. kind of things are yummy you know and then and then mm-hmm. these are little things we can add to our life whether you like me love essential oils particularly mm-hmm. frankincense i could like bathe in frankincense <laughs> <laughs> and for me that was would be quite amazing i'm not sure it would be for everyone 
Uh, however, my body just loves it. I feel nurtured and uplifted and, and delighted and so many things from that one scent. Mm. Whereas mm-hmm. for someone else, it might be smelling roses. So mm-hmm. what do you really love on the sense, uh, for the sense of scent or smell, Betsy? Gosh. Um, well, you know, it's really interesting that you brought in frankincense because I, um, I realized today I've never smelled it. And it's been one of those on my list to order. Um, so after hearing you, I think I'm going to have to go ahead and just get some. <laughs> um, oh, my. I, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And they, they and smell I, different, too. If you get, like, a, um, oh. yeah, Floricopia has um, some different ones. Um, how do you spell that? I'll pop it on my website because you can actually get $15 off. Um, oh. I'll find that code. And, um, but yeah, so I, I got like a box of frankincense once. <laughs> I was like, Fun. oh, this one's chewable and this one is, is sweeter and this one is more, more, um, less, less flowery. It's, yeah. That's so funny. it's pretty amazing. You just ask your body when you're ordering, okay, which ones would you like? And, and they're yeah. all different. So it's fun. Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, for me, I, you know, again, when things smell good and you're just like, oh, that smells so good. You know, what is that for your body? Um, I like also the um, putting the cinnamon essence sometimes just it can be a oh, um, the cinnamon oil, right? Just putting that in my diffuser. I have a lot of different scents and I'll just play with them. And then some of them I'm like, oh, no, I don't think I'm going to put that as a diffuser. But I know that I'll, again, or I ask my body right now, it doesn't enjoy it. So, and, but it's fun to kind of open the lid and look at the different things and say, all right, what would you enjoy, you know, having in the air that's a nice scent? Um, and it could be something cooking or something baking that smells delicious. It could be, I love the smell of the ocean and the smell of forests and the pine trees. Oh, and, me too. Yeah, right? It's like, oh, it smells so good. <laughs> and that you're right, absolutely, to include all your senses. And what also, again, like including your body in what is yummy for you. In your body, you are you with your body all the time. It's not like you can put your body to the side. <laughs> like your body's <laughs> always with you. <laughs> Although I've tried, I've tried to really disassociate. Um, it doesn't work though. I'll, you know, like spoiler alert, <laughs> it doesn't work. Not so well. Uh, huh? <laughs> not so well. But what what does your body enjoy? So you've got this smell. It could be a nice scent and lotion that you like. Um, for me right now, it's winter time here. It's really cold. My skin is really dry. So I'm like, oh, what lotion would we like to put on now? And you know, when it has a nice scent to it, it's like, mmm. And again, taking a second to slow down and pay attention instead of just like quickly putting the lotion on, like what, you know, what, what would be nurturing? So what is nurturing for you? Another word, you know, like besides creating yumminess, or delicious, nurturing is another word for me that, oh, right, have I done anything to nurture myself and my body? What a great so, question. Yeah. Yes, definitely. So we talked about smell. So what's the next sense? We've got, well, uh, we've got sight, which we talked a lot about a little bit already. You know, what? What do you enjoy seeing? For me, if I've got too much clutter around, Cass, it um, <laughs> it's not nurturing and yummy for me. I, I'm, it's really interesting, but my whole body kind of just like does this weird tense thing. But as soon as my space is clear, you know, and, and doesn't have clutter, then I'm. It's like my whole body and being just relaxed. It's the fun. It's the weirdest thing. But now I know that that's what I require. So I just, I do it and I really, um, it's no big deal where it used to be something that it would drive me nuts and I would get all upset and 
angry or whatever. And now it's just like, oh, okay, well, this is, this is, if I don't do this, I know that this is probably going to be at some point the way my body starts to react. And it's really weird because it'll be okay for a while. And I'll just, and then all of a sudden it's like, my body tells me it is time to make this mess, like disappear, get it more organized or whatever. And it, it's, it's really fascinating. <laughs> and, and for those of you who maybe struggle with clutter or keeping things tidy, there is a, um, what's it called? A homeopathic remedy. And, oh dear, I just, oh, I think it's sulfur that helps you. And and my friend brought it up uh, last month. I saw this friend I haven't seen for probably 15 years, um, and maybe 12. And he said, Kathy, remember when you said, here, take this homeopathic remedy? And I said, what's it do? And I said, just take it and you'll see. And the next day, I couldn't stop cleaning the house and tidying up and making everything, you know, just it can span and and that was the sulfur <laughs> oh my gosh it was, yeah it was so funny he didn't even know what it would do and it did it i mean and his he just yeah yeah was it how did <laughs> was it something that you just smelled or you saw or? no it, it's little it's little sugar pills of a huh. diluted and diluted and diluted and diluted sulfur and um, it has the effect of making people want to clean and tidy up. Oh, my gosh. That is so yeah. funny. I've never heard of that. It really is. Yeah. How oh, cool is that? Uh, <laughs> isn't that fun? <laughs> yes. Hmm. <laughs> wow. Oh, and time for our next break. See you soon, everybody. <laughs> Connecting you with the best of the conscious minds in the world. Om Times Radio. IOM FM. Ascending Hearts is no ordinary dating site, but a spiritual dating site with a purpose, to link you with your soulmate. We engineer the serendipity so you can trust that you will attune with someone that has the same matching vibration as you. Ascending Hearts, the conscious dating site for the spiritually aware. Try Ascending Hearts for free, ascendinghearts.com. Hello, I'm Lisa Berry. Join me every Monday at 1 p.m. Eastern Time for Light on Living, a chance to see new, hear different, and feel more as I shine the spotlight on all the ways to lighten the load of life's challenges. Light on Living is your link to that new way you're looking for, that new understanding that will enhance your life, and that positive connection that will support your growth. So join me and you'll gain insight and start to see things in a new way that motivates you. Hi, this is recording artist and composer Yuval Ron inviting you to a voyage through the chakras, a new double album of guided meditations to transform your life, a sublime musical medicine for nourishing inner peace and reaching to your higher virtues. Get it now at metamindfulnessmusic.com. M-E-T-T-A MindfulnessMusic.com I adopted Bento in 2010 from a shelter. This cat makes me make art. He's always motivating me to draw pictures of him. He just is motivating artistically. He's my best friend, but a lot of people know him as Keyboard Cat. Keyboard Cat, YouTube star and shelter pet. Amazing adoption stories start in shelters. Start yours today. Visit the shelterpetproject.org to find a pet near you. Brought to you by Maddie's Fund, the Humane Society of the United States, and the Ad Council. Welcome back, everyone, to Imperfect Brilliance. Betsy McLaughlin and Kathy Williams here today. And today we're talking about creating a yummier life 
And what does that mean for you? What does that look like? So one of the things that I would love to actually do here, Kathy, as I was at, even asking that question, like, what does it mean? What if we destroyed and uncreated all of our definitions and our conclusions yeah. uh, about that. what that is or isn't for you? Would you that like to on the clarity great. statement? <laughs> yes. So all those definitions and conclusions and expectations, wow, about what creating a yummer, yummier life is or isn't <laughs> and how capable you are of that or what you'd have to do, will you destroy and then create all of it? I'm so God so good. Hmm. Goodness, right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pot, all nine shorts, boys and beyond. So that is the Access Consciousness Clearing Statement if you've never heard it before. And you can get way more information at www.clearingstatement.com. And it's really created to bypass your logical thinking mind and get uh, unstick stuck energies. So Kathy sounded like she might have been having a hard time saying that. She was trying not to yawn <laughs> while she was True while story. She was saying that's clearing. And what the uh, yawning is, is really just trying to tapping into some of those energies. And so sometimes when we facilitate, you know, I will be yawning like crazy. And it's the funniest thing. And it's just one of the ways that our body uh, clears those energies. So it, it was funny. I didn't even realize that, that we were going to do a clearing right when we came back from break. But as I was saying that question, I was like, oh, there's some energy here that we're aware of so let's let's run that clearing statement and um what else is possible yes yeah and so we talked about some of our senses and Mm -hmm. one of the senses that you know can change so much because you've like most of us have watched a movie with the sound turned down or off and like certain scenes that might be scary with scary music definitely aren't when that sound is down or off, you know, it's like, ah. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, so sound is one of those things that can make such a difference for us. And this includes when we're in traffic and we're like, ah, oh, I really need to turn on something fun. So yeah. I don't get annoyed or bored or whatever the case may be. Um, yeah, so so finding things that either match your mood or change your mood, just depending on, you know, uh, what space you're in. Mm-hmm. Yes, and I find sometimes you require quiet. You know, to me, that's like, ah. Oh. And other times I, I would like some fun, jazzy music on, or it could be quieter music, or could be listening to somebody's class or, you know, different things. So what, and it could be that I have headaches or I don't want to listen to anything or whatever it is. So what, again, that question, what creates yumminess? (laughs) What creates yumminess for you in that moment? Yeah. And and the cool thing is we have so many choices right at our fingertips. Mm-hmm. So many choices, you know, of uh, this you have a phone, you can get the Pandora app and right there you can have anything from like uh, jazz to to um classical to you know pop, whatever country, whatever floats your boat, it's right there. So um music is definitely one of those things that I've added more of to my life and in fact sometimes uh, you can ask Alexa, Alexa, play my favorite song. And she will, but she'll throw in some ones you've never heard before. <laughs> and you're like, wait, that's not my favorite song. <laughs> and, and do you want to explain what who Alexa is for people listening who might not know? <laughs> yes. So Alexa is this um, machine, smart machine. from You can get on Amazon. It'll be under Alexa or Echo or something like that. And it really, um, you know, can do anything from telling you a joke to telling you the weather to playing your favorite songs. 
to playing your Pandora stations. So I know that some Isn't people that don't something? like those kind of smart machines because when they're plugged <laughs> in, they are listening to you. Otherwise, they won't know when you say, Alexa, play <laughs> play Gangnam Style, which is what my kids ask for. Um, <laughs> their music selection is not my music selection. <laughs> True story. That's funny. So it's kind of like uh, Siri. You know, you're, you're, if people have an iPhone, they can talk to their iPhone and ask, you know, where is, you know, the closest drugstore? And Siri will tell you. It's pretty amazing. It's pretty stuff. incredible. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> wow. So let's see. We have done sight, sound, and smell. Smell. What's left? So we have... We have touch and taste to go. Mm-hmm. Which one would you like to talk about next? Oh, let's talk about taste. Okay. So, I mean, after all, that's what most people associate yumminess with, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, I did a class recently, and... And, um, it's called Harmony with Food. And one of the things we talked about, um, and it's it's on meetcathywilliams.com as a product if you're interested, is the fact that there are um, six tastes and that when we have each of those in a meal, let's say a, a, a curry would likely have each of those or, you know, a lot of the more um, traditional meals like um, Mexican food or some or um, from cultures that are still eating what they've eaten for, for a long time, they, um, they contain the six tastes and, and that those are some of the most satisfying meals you can have because your body is delighted by having each of those sweet, sour, salty, bitter, pungent, which means spicy, and and astringent or umami, um, just depending on if you're going from the Indian perspective or, or the Chinese perspective. Um, and those, those are more like, oh gosh, savory or... Um, Astringent is like if you've ever eaten a a raw bean or a legume, it's a little bit like, whoa, that's interesting. <laughs> so, <laughs> so being nurtured by all those different tastes instead of at least what the standard American diet has, which is actually the abbreviated SAD, right, S-A-D, <laughs> um, which is pretty much um, sweet and salty and, and sometimes a little bit of spicy thrown in there, but um, Mm -hmm. having all of those tastes are really nourishing and nurturing for the body and the tongue. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love what you just talked about. That's pretty cool. Isn't that interesting? Thank you so much. It it, it really is. Yeah. It really is. And so, again, you know, are you asking what's yummy for you? Are you slowing down? You know, we're talking right now about taste. Are you slowing down and really savoring? Whether it's, I, I have a, a tea that I really enjoy. Are you savoring it? Are you even mm. tasting it? You know, like, right. whatever. <laughs> what a great question. You know, like, are you, are you just on automatic pilot where you're not even enjoying what you are putting in your mouth? whether it's something to drink or eat or a piece of gum or whatever. Um, this is and making so me hungry. Are, <laughs> <laughs> so these are some of the I'm things. Like, like, mm-hmm. You can ask, am I enjoying this? Yeah. Am I <laughs> so Kathy this? wants to go find something to, to enjoy. <laughs> but it's just after lunchtime mm-hmm. here, and all I've had is the yogurt. You know, <laughs> like, <laughs> that can contain all those different tastes. Um, <laughs> I love it. Oh goodness! So what? And then again, what do you enjoy? And go ahead, Kathy, because I just looked at the time to get to make sure we get the last sense in here. 
Yeah, and that one is touch. And there's so much to say about this, from the clothes that Mm -hmm. we wear to the people that we're around to what we sit on and um, uh, the shoes we wear, all of that. Yes, for sure. So what are you forcing your body to, to put things on that are uncomfortable for your body? Are you asking, including your body in the conversation about what to put on? Sometimes, you know, like I'll just go in the closet, say, okay, hi, you know, and I, I remember to say hello to my body and, and I, I'll actually say, hi, body, what would you enjoy wearing today? Because it might not be the same thing that I want to wear. <laughs> But sometimes it really makes, makes me laugh. I'm like, no, but I don't want to wear this. I want to wear it. whatever. <laughs> if I will listen to my body and put on, you know, whatever it is that, that she would like, she's very happy. <laughs> yeah. So if you've never done that, what you do basically is just, hey, hi, body, what would you enjoy wearing? And you'll and then get be an awareness. Yeah. Go ahead. So it might be something kind of pops out at you in the closet, or you might have something come to mind. Oh, the yellow shirt. That would be nice. And uh-huh. and similarly, when you're packing for a trip, that doing that can make things so much easier. Oh, mm-hmm. you know, Bonnie, what will you be comfortable in on the trip? And not going to your conclusion, oh, San Diego is a warm place. I did that once. I had to buy all sorts <laughs> of sweaters. And stuff. It was cold. <laughs> so, so really, you know, asking. And, and I find, uh, you might too, Betsy, um, that after I come back from a class or a trip or I create a lot of change in my life, my body suddenly doesn't want to have all the same clothes it used to have. Yep. So so certain things might not feel the same. They might feel itchy or just not right anymore. So you find that too? I do, and it's, it really is kind of fascinating. I'm like, oh, so our body, are we are we done with this? You know, is it time to have this piece of clothing go to a different home. And, you know, sometimes I get a yes, very strong yes, and other times it's, oh, maybe we could try again in a little bit. Yeah, yeah. So sometimes it's it wants to be kept, just not be worn right now. Yeah. Huh. So, so, I mean, and... Looking around at your house, what nurtures you? You know, what's comfy? What feels good? My bed is amazing. <laughs> like, I love mm-hmm. my bed. I don't know how it could get more comfy than it is. It's, and, and so that kind of thing just is such a contribution to having a yummy lit up life. Anything yeah. to add to that, Betsy? Yes. And asking that question, even what could contribute to creating an even yummier life? And then, as we've shared with you guys many times, don't have a conclusion about what will show up. True. (laughs) True. So I wonder, I wonder, I wonder, and I love asking I wonder questions. I wonder what you could invite into your life to create more yum, more joy, more ease. Yeah, and that includes not only for the five senses, but in terms of communications and relationships, in terms of, you know, how you move your body. Um, Mm -hmm. Don't call it exercise. Call it, how would you like to move, body? (laughs) Mm -hmm. Uh, The places you go, the places you visit, the the projects you create like what could you add to your life that would create so much yumminess you don't even recognize your life anymore it's that much better i love that question 
So how, and how could you outcreate everything you've created so far? Mm. <laughs> yeah. And and you know what part of this also involves acknowledging who in your life and what in your life is already working really well. Absolutely. And and adding yumminess. And then with with thankfulness for that, even if it's a person, thanking them. You know, oh my gosh, I'm so happy you're in my life. Like I'm thinking about my cleaning lady right now. <laughs> like, thank you so much for being in my life. You make it so much better. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Definitely. And yeah, I do I so love the piece of gratitude. And for me that definitely adds such another layer to creating yumminess in your life. Thank you so much, Betsy. And thank you so much, everybody. We're grateful for you. So grateful. Have a great week, everybody. Aloha.